Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Tarty Penis. Um, I've actually got a treat for you today. I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Hold on. <laughs> there he is. Hello there. Oh, it's cat vegetable. Oh, uh, come with me. Epic. We got a whole team assembled. Okay, so today we are going to find out what the hell's up with this in solitude. What was it? Speak to this guy. Oh, that's right, because he is a um, go-between for the benefactor that's trying to screw you over. Okay. I remember it all now. Don't even worry. It only took a minute. But, let's go check it out. It says there's two places we can go to here. But I'm guessing it's two places to the same place. Whoop. I hit the 3D button, or the third person button, and it totally just fucking shit the bed. Ah, oh, he's in the winking skeever. Maybe? Hello? Okay. Only one person at a time, apparently. Welcome to the Winking hey, Skeever. Watch it. Take a load off and I enjoy the atmosphere. I don't have to take that from you. Nah. I don't think so. Okay. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? The oh, fuck? Just scratch. Damn, he hit him with the spinning back oh, fist, bro. Right. Get Enough. fucked. What are you doing? Those fools are actually fighting. Uh, no, not like this. Okay. I cannot best you. Please, someone do something. Weird. Okay, isn't this a um this be good. inn? Can I have hold on. One, two, three, four, five rooms. Five rooms? Six rooms? If only Lydia was here. It would be six. So what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I'm here about the Golden Glow Estate. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. You can drop the act. God, you leave? Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? You acted as a broker for its new owner. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't no, you definitely you did. remember every deal I handle. Identify the buyer and we'll forget what we know. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Okay, what about a bribe? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. God damn it. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> okay, well, now we have to go. And I failed to deliver the potion. Okay. Fair enough. Now we have to go find some beer or wine, fire wine. What is that, whiskey? No. Brandy? I don't know. We'll see, though. I hope it's in a very uh, not popular place. Did my game crash. Fuck. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, we got in. Okay, didn't crash this time. Only took me like fucking half an hour. Down crier. Don't care about you. That's it. It's just sitting right there. Right there for all to see. Wow. So glad that it took so long for me to get back here to do that. Were you Merlin? Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human. 
even a Breton. Uh, can I have a sample of your blood? Not my problem. Cool. Uh, are you the no, court wizard? That honor is Sabeel Stentor's. A smart man steers clear of Stentor, and keeps himself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. Okay. You are free to leave. Wait, what do you mean by that? No, and keeps himself out of the dungeon. Let's just say that the headsman's axe may not be the worst way for a solitude jail prisoner to die. Look at that. I've told you to watch your tongue, and mine is waggling. I've said enough. Okay. You were excused. He would grant it more pressing consideration. May I help you, Arch? What have you got for sale? Let me look through some of this stuff, because I know she's got a ton of spells and that I need. Conjure Cat Totem. Summons a Nordic Totem Spirit for 71 seconds. It changes between warrior and cat form to heal. Weird. Leech Seed? Like Pokemon? For real? If that's a living target with poison spore for 10 seconds, when the caster falls below full health, the spore absorbs six points of health per second. Yep. Sure enough. Okay, well, I've kind of looked through everything, but nothing really caught my eye. What is this? Oh, I don't know. I bought it, though. Cool. Didn't need it from the museum, but let me see if I need anything else for the museum. Okay. I think we're done there. Take care of yourself and always remember the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. I meant no offense, okay. your grace. Rude. But I've been waiting. Let many... us go to my magic and sort things out. I actually bought a couple of spells. So let's see here. So I bought this for the museum. For the museum. Uh, I can read one of those. Elemental bolt I bought. Oh no, I bought it for the museum because that's the one I use. Elemental Flare is not a better spell. That is unfortunate. I thought it was. I didn't, uh... Didn't read properly, but nothing too new there. Uh, I do still have some better healing spells that I want to... Yeah, because I just use healing, which is 13 points of damage. Uh... Fast healing, which is 65, which is way better. I should put that on. So let me actually fuck me. I had seen enough. So I'm going to favorite fast healing. And I'm actually going to put that on my number three here. So I have regular healing on there. Fast healing I will put on three. And then regular healing I will put on five. Or six. So one, two, three, four. No, we can put it on five. That way, when I'm in trouble... Oh, and it's like... Okay. It's not a constant heal like healing is. Okay, interesting. Oh, am I over-encumbered? No. I clicked the walking button. Okay, good. God damn it, you're kidding me right now. Yep, and he's flying backwards just to show dominance. What a dickhead. What is he doing? He drifting in the air, dude? Not even flapping his wings. There he is. Eh, fuck you. I got wine to deliver. I ain't worried about no dragon. Well, I'm worried about my game crashing. Jesus. Okay. Well, that was surprisingly uneventful. What? My game crashed again? Are you kidding me? 
God, today sucks, bro. Okay, we're back in. Jesus Christ. I've been playing for 40 minutes and I have five minutes of usable footage. Hello. Ah, I got your fucking good. wine. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. What did you give me? You're trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act Bunch as a just for something big. And she negative experience? A gold in oh, my fuck. face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought him the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Did she say why she was doing this? Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I, I question everything. She was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. That's it? No name or anything? In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. I think you're lying to me. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. You son of a bitch. Lots of travelers just disappear. Have a good day. Can't find a trace of them. Everyone, we're gonna follow him, okay? Now, I'm not saying anything, but I'm just pointing out. As soon as I bring cat vegetable back, my game has crashed on me several times. Not, not pointing fingers, not judging him. Not, never gonna say he's cursed. Just saying. I love my little lad. It's just unfortunate. I love him to death. But it's like every other loading screen. We're not following you, dude. Where's the other guy? There he is. <laughs> this group of five people just casually walking behind this man. I am hidden. <laughs> we are hidden. This is too funny. If only Lydia were here, rest in peace. Okay, I'm actually gonna fast forward until something happens. I will actually go shopping while I'm here. What do you have for sale? Anything cool? Dwarven bow of mud? <laughs> Nothing really cool that I want. Ooh, a wooden sword! Nah. He sells pretty much just crap. Oh my god, he's got a lot of potions and poisons, eh? Fishing maps. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. All for the museum, eh? Ah, oh, damn. If only it was flawless amethyst. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go, baby. Good thing I checked, eh? So anyway, he's right here. He hasn't moved very far. This dude never looks behind him. It's kind of funny. He's going to the East Empire Trading Company? Warehouse? Okay. Oh, he's going into the dock. Like, uh, that thing. Okay, it just took a while for him to go through the door, I guess. What is that symbol? Down? Is there something below here? 
Or am I just wasting my time and he's getting away? I think I'm wasting my time and he's getting away. God damn it. Seriously? There we go. Okay, into the warehouse. Okay. Yeah, I know. I see him too, Cat Vegetable. Don't worry. We still got his trail. I straight up think this guy wants to be followed. going on? Why are there so many summons? Oh. The fuck? Ow. Ow. What the fuck is going on? What the hell was that, cat vegetable? He's just like, I don't even know, dude. Okay. No. I can go up top here. Huh? Oh, look, Jonathan's got a texture. Oh shit, hello. Ah! I found the water. How the fuck do I get back up here? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, well, <laughs> my item's not charged. Awesome. T. Lesser. I don't need that whip, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. And I don't need any of their armor, it seems. Now, where the hell did this guy go? There he is. Still just casually moseying along, even though... You get out of my face! Jesus Christ, I can't fucking understand anything that's going on right now. Okay. Jesus Christ. Where the fuck did this guy go? There's no way he doesn't know that we're following him now. Oh, shit. Okay. Straight up got detected. Hello, everyone. Jonathan, you're looking good. You're looking snazzy. I like this new look. Dig. He bring you back? You got a soul now? Okay, looks like there's a secret entrance here. 
very secret. Brine Water Grotto. Now I confront him. Cool. I have no idea what the hell is going on here, dude. There's so many people in my fucking way. Cat vegetables just fucking chilling, dude. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Wanathan's back to his old glowy ways, eh? Cool, y'all get him? Y'all got him. Okay. Iron pike. I don't need that, right? Yeah. I'm assuming I have all the iron stuff and steel stuff, all the early game stuff. Empty, why did I even check it? Hello! Why are some of y'all like really high level and others are like fucking nothing? Jesus! You've contracted vampirism? No. Is that what that said? Progresses to vampirism, yeah. Son of a bitch. Well, I got just the drink for that. I've been carrying around these fucking potions of... Oh shit, where are they actually? Cure disease, I got 25 of them. Easy, and now I no longer have vampirism. Cool. Steel quarter staff, I believe I have, yep. Oh. Damn, this dude really just ran super far away as soon as he got in here. Are these spiders in here? What the hell? Yep, called it. There's some big ass spiders that are level two. Let's see what's behind door number three. Oh, did I pass a door to get here? I sure did. Who the hell are you? Oh, <laughs> it's Serana brought someone back to life. Are you okay, sir? Okay. Serana's actually in danger. Cool. Epic. I don't think I've seen epic gear before. I don't know if that's... Is that higher than flawless? I think flawless is the highest, highest I've seen. You can't hide them. Okay, ow. Ow. Get vegetable! Get that dog meat. Oh, bitch! It juked! That's it. Motherfucker. Oh, god damn it. Oh, killed him. Well, excuse me, everyone. Trying to just get back into the fucking fray here. Oh, my God. Having this many followers is such a detriment. Alteration's good. Yeah, someone's here, you fucking whore. I'm just fine, thank you. You won't even live to regret this. You're actually more of a threat than the guy with the claw. The guy with the bow is even more of a threat. Yeah, there he is. Oh, jukes, dumbass. 
Yes, I will. Oh, cool. How you doing? What the hell? I thought this dude. Hey. Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything. Honestly, please, he'll have me killed. Uh, tell me first, then I'll decide. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. You say that name like I should know Mercer it. never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Where is she now? I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Fair enough. Okay. Well. Expert chest, eh? Okay. For nine gold, you really keeping nine gold for me, you fucking son of a bitch. Anyway, fishing pole. I will take that fishing rod. Jesus Christ, there's so many people in my party. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you should kind of five. Leave Gollum Eye alive. Remove his head and leave it on his chair at the skiva. He is far more useful as a message than as a fence. What is your deal, my guy? Your foes and let nothing go to waste. Uh, tell me about your servants. Of my servants, there were three whom I trusted with guarding my. Oh, that's right. During the transfer, I'm finally going to talk to this dude. Marius the Warlock and the cleric Irulan, who herself left the Sigic Order to serve my will. Together they were powerful, but on their own they were nothing more than worthless sycophants. Such was the reasoning behind their selection. Yet only one managed to betray my will and kill the others in the process. Which one was that? Arrogance killed you. <laughs> Never trust a warlock. It's always the one you least expect. Your insinuation is foolish, mortal. I suspected her most of all. But not until the spell could rid itself of its limitations. For her service was not bound out of some maudlin sense of loyalty. Irulan served me because she sought the boon of immortality. It is avarice that bent her to my will. So I ask you, mortal. Does one devote their entire life to a singular purpose, only to abandon it for chivalry at the moment it is within her grasp? Fair enough. Like trade... Create an outfit for you? I need a moment of your time. Uh... I don't know, I guess... All Let me, uh, do that... Pain. Together, the, again, only one managed to betray my illusion can sway emotion, but it cannot bend reality. I tested Fane's loyalty before accepting him in my service. The fool did not come alone. He and his brother sought to serve me. Yet only one was willing to kill the other and pay the price of immortality. Well, shit. Of my fame, together, yet only one managed to betray You never trust the a warlock. answer, for Marius had the faculty, but he lacked the desire. The warlock was a torturer. His service was bound not by his desire for immortality, but his unquenchable thirst to burn and maim the living. I provided a haven for him to conduct his experiments. To deprive me of my life is to deprive himself. So who fucking did it? 
Don't matter. I am right behind you. I know, and it's spooky. Okay. So back to the Thieves Guild we go in order to tell him what's what. I guess the previous kind of like a, a thief in training or not in training, but you know what I mean. An old thief partner who killed the last guy is now after Mercer's head, which is totally expected, I guess. Excuse me, everyone. Um, not really a huge revelation there. But we shall see once we get back to Mercer. Okay, we're back at the Thieves Guild. Where is Mercer? He's always at his post, it seems. I do not want to take the wine. I want to talk to Tell him. I give up any information on our buyer? He sure did. He said the Golden Glow was purchased by a Carlea. No. Carlea? It can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Uh, he also told me she was a murderer. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my Carlia. predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Why is she returned? Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. Uh, told me she said where the end began. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Okay. Oh, excuse me, cat vegetable. Wanathan. Dogri Lawn? I guess. I don't know his name. I'll be real with you. Meet Mercer outside the Snowvale Sanctum north of Windhelm. Gotcha. Okay. Well, didn't mean to hit inventory. He meant to hit map. Now, where is this? Oh, do I need to do it in my journal? Yep. It's right there. I can go to the Stillborn Cave and then head east, northeast. A cave. Burn everything inside. Calm down, my guy. Jesus, we're not even going to that cave. There's a lot of dungeons around here, eh? We need to, watch our steps inside. We need to wait for daytime, actually. I don't like doing things at night. It's too spooky. See, that looks much better, don't it? Wee. Quite a few dungeons. Maybe I can discover some of them before I go. Nordic Plateau. Okay. Ah, there he is. Snowvale Sanctum. You ready, dude? Good. Finally here. Bitch, I fast traveled. The ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. You want me to lead? Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Uh... How did Gaius die? Five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. 
Gallus told me to meet here, but Gallus. he didn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Took both of you on our loan? Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. What happened after he died? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men, and the Ratway became a bloodbath. And you were a part of this? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septums and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Well, tell me about her. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Ah. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. So they had a relationship. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. Why did she Greed? kill him? Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing I intend to find Fun out before she draws her last breath. Isn't murder Dark Brotherhood's territory? I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Okay. Let's get going. I want her head on my mantle. Well, son of a bitch. Sounds like we're going up against the absolute king of builds. The stealth archer. How the fuck do we get in here, though? Is it on top? It is. Okay. This requires key. How do we get in? Do you have to let us in? It says requires key. How do we get in? Yes, yes. What is it now? Cannot be picked. Have your weapon at the ready. I'm Jesus. Carlia knows we're here. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. This one doesn't look too difficult. Jesus Christ, my man. Just open Quite it. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Not a lot of skill. That should do it. Okay. Everybody... Um, oh, I don't get any of my followers in here? Oh, no, they're here. Okay, fair enough. You need to sneak through this whole place. Tension here. This place smells of death. Be on your guard. Well, yeah, it's a catacomb. I'd assume everything is dead, hopefully. Do I not have this pike? Hmm. Guess I don't. What does this chain do?
Use the key. Cool. I don't know what I picked up. I should have looked. Well. Okay. Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. That <laughs> gets in front of those spikes. Dumbass. Hello, sir. You okay? Oh shit! Oh, you're dead. Restoration up. <laughs> oh, helped me better understand restoration. That's cool. Triple iron. Oh, I almost fucking flopped right into the fire. Who's there? Ice arrows, eh? Oh shit. Hello. How Who's there? How the hell is she living here? With all these fucking dudes. What's up, fucker? Death Lord, my ass. Thanos looking ass, get out of my face, homie. You, homie. Wait to wake the drugger, I bet. Don't blunder into any of them. I think we already woke all the drogger. I'm gonna save it right here, actually, now that we've come so far into the catacombs. Hello, everyone. These takes a lot of hits, dude. You know, I can't even go around. I can't even get up there. Let me up there. What the fuck? He got an arrow in his head. <laughs> Sorry. So many death lords, dude. Get fucked. 
I honestly don't even care about all these guys. What? You're not dead? Fuck you, homie. Are they all gone? Can't use while in combat. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, there's still people here. Oh, Skeever. Two Skeever. Is that all of them? Can I go back and use it now? Yep. Sure was all of them. Tink, 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 tink. Radioactive? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Why would it be radioactive? That's terrifying. I just have this radioactive rock on me now? Does it say radioactive? It does. Huh. It's just a flat little piece of stone? Okay. Anyway. Let's keep going. Oh, into the sanctum. A lot of combat. Oh, even more combat. You can't hide from me. Holy shit, there's so many people here. Okay. Wow, that is so much better. Actually goaded. If I have mana. Oh, I thought that was a bad guy. Holy shit, everyone! Two-handed up to 90, bro. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Rude as fuck. We're on the right track. Dude, this guy does so much fucking damage. I hope he doesn't die uh, in a cutscene, you know. Hero Greatsword, eh? I'll take it. Okay. God damn it. Can't hit shit. Cleared, eh? Doesn't seem cleared. I hear a word. Shadow blade. Ebony bow? I don't think I have one of those. Yeah. Oh, and then he had a bunch of arrows on him. I'll take that. Elven Rapier. Ebony Rapier. Ooh. Okay. What word do I learn today? So Disarm. Yeah, I knew it. As soon as I walked past that, I was like, this guy's gonna pop up. Don't matter, though. Worthless. I need a claw? Do you have a claw? Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Shut up, you can open that. Carlyle already did away with it. We're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. 
How do you do it? Is close. I'm what the fuck? It. How do you do now it? Let's get moving. You bastard! <laughs> you actual son of a bitch! Alright, let's save the game. Wow. That effect's just gonna play, huh? Uh-oh. What happened to me? Did I get hit in there with an arrow? Well, I found her, apparently. Yeah, it looks like she hit me with an arrow. Andy's gonna die in this cutscene, I bet. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Oh. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Uh oh. She drinks some skooma. I'm oh. a fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Okay, goodbye. You're just gonna give up, even though you can clearly see her. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But you know what? Dude, I got like five people that need the fact me. That this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Please don't kill me. Just stab me with nothing? Okay, bye bye Well, here I go dying again. <laughs> oh. Somebody saved me. Was it her? <gasps> easy, easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hold on, you shot me! No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding. Oh, there's everybody. Hello. I intended to kill you. We wouldn't be having this conversation. Why save? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split second decision to get you out of the way and it prevented your death. You should have shot Mercer instead. Then I'm in your debt. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on the arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why capture Mercer, Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. How will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what does it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Perhaps we could be translated? Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There's that word again, Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Some poisons... Okay. Why didn't you kill Mercer? Mercer lied to the Guild. Branded me a murderer, 
and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Might not have a, a choice next I time. I promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Tell me about Gaius. A scholar, Gallus. A master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales and honed my skills to a razor sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. Were you lovers? Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Can't you come with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus' remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Okay. Remember, speak only to Anther. Trust no one else. Well, once again, we are going back to college. <laughs> And once again, we are leaving off the episode outside of the College of Winterhold. Ah, always a welcome sight. It's <laughs> so calming. Uh, if next time. What Elia says is true. You too have managed to escape death through the slowing of time. Fortunately for you, Mercer left your head. Yes, indeed. Anyway, next time we're going to be uh, translating what his journal says, I guess, and hopefully taking down Mercer. It's crazy how much of this I don't remember. I have no recollection of this from playing the game originally, and it's so oddly fresh, but weirdly not. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.